What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Series 2 in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an Iron Bundle team that also features Fluttermane and yet again, we're going to be using Iron Hands. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here, describing the team and going over it, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator. This team was actually used to win a tournament. So I will be leaving a link down in the description below to the team creator who used this team to win the tournament alongside with the Pokey Pay. So if you guys wanna go check it out, like I said, head down in the description below. All the information will be there but we get started here with iron bundle in that top left corner and iron bundle is going to be one of those paradox pokemon that you're going to be seeing a lot on the rank ladder this team features three paradox pokemon actually that you guys are going to be seeing a lot so it's going to be a really good team for you guys to push master tier and play up against hard meta squads but iron bundles here with the cork drive and the booster energy it has freeze try icy wind hydro pump and protect pretty much the best move set for any iron bundle you got speed control you can hit hard with freeze try and hydro pump it is like, it's just top tier with Iron Bundle. Second Pokemon is going to be Baxcalibur over here. And I've been seeing Baxcalibur a lot, especially this move set right here in this setup. It's got Loaded Dice and the Thermal Exchange, Glaive Rush, Icicle Spear, Ice Shard, and Protect. Really can't ro go wrong with this Baxcalibur. Super strong in the meta at the moment. Third Pokemon is going to be Fluttermane, and Fluttermane is ridiculously strong. Great special attack stat, great speed stat, hits really, really hard. It has Protosynthesis alongside with the Focus Ash, Rock and Moon Blast, and Shadow Ball both for Stab, Perish Song, and Protect for its other two moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands, and I used Iron Hands in my last video, and Iron Hands showed out. Iron Hands is that Pokemon, one of the best in Paradox form. It's just super good. It's got Quirk Drive, Assault Vest as item, Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Bolt Switch, and Fake Out. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Arcanine. And Arcanine is just great for controlling uh, physical and special attack drops at the same time. Considering it has Intimidate, Snarl, and will o -Wisp, what more can you want from it? It has Citrus Berry as item, and then its other two moves consist of Flare Blitz Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be Gargonackle. Gargonackle is great at just stalling out battles and playing the slow game. It has Purifying Salt as its ability, Leftovers as item, Salt Cure, Recover, Wide Guard to protect alley Pokemon from double hitting moves, and Protect as our fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Iron Bundle, Fluttermane, and Iron Hands team. So guys, we are sitting at 3-1 in total on the brand new rank season. And uh, yeah, we're close to Master Tier. I think we need one or two more wins to get to the Master Tier. So hopefully we can get started here strong and get after it in this battle. But we're going up against a non-paradox team. They got Ndidi, Dragapult, Meowth, Scrivata, Hydreigon, Armourouge, and Dog Spawn. Right? Is that how you pronounce that Pokemon? It's the Doe Dog Pokemon. But I know it has uh, one of those new abilities that works with like fire. I forget what it's called. It's called like Well-Baked Doe or something like that. It's something along the lines. But yeah, I'm not going to take this team uh, lightly considering I really want this win. And I really want to push the rank ladder for you guys. And uh, who should we go into? Do we read the... I, I feel like we lead the Iron Bundle. It's just so good. It has speed control. It's going to outspeed pretty much all the Pokemon, right? Look at this. Yeah, it's 206. We got to bring the Iron Bundle. So I'm going to end up leading the Iron Bundle. Really good up against a ton of these Pokemon. I'm going to go Iron Bundle. Do I go Fluttermane? I could go in with the Floods. Or I could go in with my boy right here. Or Arcanine's not bad. I kind of want to bring Arcanine more so as a back-end Pokemon. But who do I rock out with here? I think it's Fluttermane. I think we just go Floods. Yeah, let's go Fluttermane. Let's go Iron Bundle. Let's bring Arcanine in the back end just for Intimidates and Snarls later on in the match. And then last but not least, do we go Iron Hands or Baxcalibur? I'm kind of leaning towards Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur is really good here. I'm going to go Baxcalibur. Where do I go in with Gargle? I said we go Gargle Stall. I like the Gargle Stall. I really do like the Gargle Stall. So that's who we're going to rock into. I had to change it last second. Sometimes I overthink. Maybe we should have brought the other Pokemon, but it's all good. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one and keep pushing that Master Tier in a brand new season. But I wonder who our opponent's going to lead. I know Armourouge I know Armourouge and that dog is like a combo, but I've never seen it before. So I'm kind of just hoping they just stay away from that. We don't have to deal with it. Okay, and DD Armourouge. Okay. Um, I mean, do we think he's going to go for a follow me here? Do we think a follow me is going to pop out here? It is a possibility. It is a possibility that he could go for a follow me. I could see Trick Room as well, or he can just be going into like that beat up combo, popping the weak armor, all that good stuff. But special defense is going to get boosted. I 
I feel like I just have to rip a hydro pump in the slot, right? And then just moon blast it too. Huh. I think we're just gonna moon blast in DD. Because if it doesn't go for a follow me, we rip it with a hydro pump and we just take it out. So we'll see what it wants to do. Follow me does end up coming out here. So follow me po pokes out here. Not nothing too crazy. I mean it has its uh it is rocking with the uh what's that move called? I can't even think of it. Expanded Force, which Expanded Force can do a big chunk of damage. We get the special attack drop on DD. Expanded Force does come out here. Uh, I think the Deli Bird should be able to eat that. No, the Deli Bird doesn't. Ow. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So Deli Bird goes down here, drops out. And we're left with Fluttermane and Gold. We could go into Arcanine. I mean, Arcanine's not going to be too bad here. Do we go Arky? I kind of think we go Arcanine here. Dark Knight's gonna be super effective on the both with Snarl. Special attacks are gonna be huge. I say we rock into it. Still have the gargle in the back end, and hmm, I could just protect. I'm thinking of just protecting my Flutter Main here. I'm thinking of just protecting Flutter Main at this point, right? Go for Snarls, protect Flutter Main, have another turn in a little bit. I'm with it. I'm all about it. So we'll see what our opponent wants to go after or what they want to use. But we are sitting in a tough spot after that one. He ends up withdrawing the Indeed, which I don't mind. Hopefully they go into a special attacker. I would like that the most. Who are you going into? Special attacker? The dog. The, the, the dog. The dog. <laughs> and again, I do not really know what it does. But hopefully it's special attacking. Hopefully it is special attacking. So I'm going to fly out here. Chip up some nice damage onto the arm rouge. Where to go from there? So we get that special attack drop. Is arm rouge going for lava plume? It is. Lava plume comes out here. We do block it, which is big. Big time for us. He's going to get the well-baked body. That's what it is. And the defense is going to boost up sharply. And it's going to hit up onto my Arcanine, which Arcanine soaks really well. The Arcanine is able to soak that shot. I think his defense is getting bulked up. We're going to have to purify salt that, right? What typing is that thing, anyway? Straight fairy. That's really cool. Defense plus two. Wow. Defense plus two. Straight fairy. We might start chipping into Will-O-Wisp, right? I'm gonna go Will O Wisp, and I'm just gonna go Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball should be able to KO. Shadow Ball's gonna come straight through here. Probably pick up the KO, correct? Show me the KO. Awesome. And now we are just going to burn this thing. So we're hoping we get Flutter Main for one more turn. That could be really big for us. That could be really big for us. And of course we miss our Will O Wisp, which hurts. Oh, never mind. It's just Well Baked Body. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is just let that dog do whatever it wants to do. And we deal with it later with the purifying salt guy, right? <laughs> like, that seems like what we have to do. That seems like our, our best option because that defense is boosted. They got substitute. They got leftovers. Hopefully, this thing's not rocket following me. But Miascarada is going to poke out here. And you know what? I'm just going to Flare Blitz it. And I'm just going to protect you. I could Moon Blast, but I can definitely see Sucker Punch coming out here. I could Terrasalize in a straight fairy, but I want to save my Terrasalize. So I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to go into a straight Flare Blitz. So we're going to protect. I'm trying to just not worry about that dog. <laughs> I'm just trying to play as one slow. And Knockoff's going to come out here. That's huge for us. We blocked that shot. Hopefully this thing's not Sash, but it could definitely be Sash. And Flare Blitz is going to fly. The Flare Blitz comes out here. Show me no Sash. It is Sash. Give me a burn. Throw me a burn. Throw me a burn. Give me a burn. I'm asking for a burn. We get the burn. <laughs> we get the burn. <laughs> big plays. Big plays. You ask and you shall receive. Body press coming in hot here. Hit me pretty hard probably. Oh, KO's me. KO's me. KO's me. So we get rid of Miascov out of here. And we have to bring in our boy. We both still have Terrasalization. And this is going to be tough. So what I'm thinking here is... Hopefully outspeeding with Fluttermane, getting off some big damage, but we have to worry about Terrasalization. They still have it. And then Purifying Salt, the other Pokemon. And then also Terrasalizing this Pokemon, because we know that thing has Body Press. So we saved the Terrasalize for a good time. And it's Indeedee. Indeedee comes out here. And it's not doesn't have a special defense boost anymore. So what I'm thinking here is just Terrasalize, Salt Cure, And then just Moon Blast? Yeah, right? Or I could Parasol. I could Parasol. Right? Or would that not affect the Dalek's one? I really just want to do this. I feel like this is our play. I feel like this is our play all day. 
I don't want to. I don't want to mess up because I don't know Parasong too well. So obviously Parasong would be a solid play here. But my problem would be if substitutes out, does that not affect the dog, right? Which I can see happen because substitute blocks everything, right? Like you can't burn a Pokemon through substitute. I doubt you could Parasong one. So he's gonna end up Terrasalizing in DD, and that's totally fine. That just helps us pick up the KO, right? That just helps us pick up the KO here. We're gonna go into Ghost type here. Just so body press is not effective. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Seriously, hopefully you guys are enjoying the video right now. If we end up Terrasalizing. If Follow Me comes out here, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. And hopefully Salt Cure can break through. But we're hoping he goes for a body press more so than anything. But Moonblast flies, that's KO. We get rid of that. And if Dog Spawn goes after my my gargle knuckle then we're sitting in a great spot because we're both ghost type now you cannot body press me are you going for a body press you do oh my god great read from us beautiful read by us we set up salt here and i'm hoping it it, it starts salt carrying through the through that substitute if not i'm gonna just send it again but we're sitting in such a good spot it's defense boosted let's see if actually salt here goes through it i don't think it does but it's defense. Yeah, it does not. It's defense boosted. So we have special attacker out on the field. So I'm just going to knock off the substitute right here right now and go into a moon blast. And we're sitting in such a good spot. They're going to cancel battle. They do not. And it's going for protect. A little protect for... I don't know why. I mean, aren't you full health? Aren't you full, full health? But yeah, what a match by us. The comeback. The comeback. Fluttermane clutches up. We make great reads with Gargoyle Acklin. Good thing I did bring in this Pokemon over back caliber. Because Bax Caliber would have been in trouble, right? I mean, I would have tired the water. But still. Gargoyle Knuckles 10 times better in this situation. Great call from us to switch at last second. He's getting his HP back from his leftovers. We're just going to do the same thing. Go into Salt Cure. Try to set that up on that. And knock off the Substitute with his Moon Blast. The Moon Blast flies through here. We're going to say bye-bye to Substitute. I think he's going to take out my Fluttermane at this point. Right? And then we get the Salt Cure off. Which is huge. Right? You're going to snarl. Can you eat that? Oh my god, this game's this is game set match. This is game set match. Game set match. Salt here coming out here. Chipping up some damage. But more importantly, it's being Salt here now. Huge place. That's what we need it. Leftover she's gonna be chipping up and I mean we have recover. We do have recover. I doubt it starts setting up substitutes. But I'll play the long game for this one. Considering I'm trying to push rank for you guys. So I'll play the long game for this one. I'll play the long game. We set up the Salt Cure. Um, and then we just keep going for Salt Cure. Just get off as much damage as we possibly can. And you know, I'm going to set up a Parasol. I'm going to set up a Parasol. I'm going to set up the Parasol. So I'm going to do that. And I'll pick Pokemon with Faint in this amount of turns. She's going to set up a substitute. That's fine. And we're just going to start attacking. Falkir coming out here. And now we're just going to keep doing damage. So we have all this out and about. He's doing damage to himself. He's not probably going to protect here. That is fine. That is fine. And actually, you know what I'm hoping? I'm going to cry if this is actually it. But... Please tell me if I Parasong here, he does not win because we all die. Right? Please tell me that. Please tell me that's not a thing. <laughs> Please tell me that's not a thing. But I'm just going to Salt here. I could start Shadow Balling. Which I think I'm going to do rather than... uh. Actually, I'm going to Moonblast this one first. But I'm going to start Shadow Balling regardless. Okay, battle was canceled. That's fine. That's perfect. No need to worry about it. But long drawn out first battle, your boy clutches up and we are sitting at 4-1 for the brand new rank season. Check us out, ladies and gentlemen. Look how close we are to Master Tier. We're 4-1 on the rank season. Next win will bring us into Master Tier if we win this next battle. So hopefully you get rocking out with it. Go 5-1 and one and get into the Master Tier in six matches. That'd be ridiculously fast. That'd be one of the quickest I've ever gotten into Master Tier. But we're using a very strong team. Like I said, this team right here is made to push high Master Tier. Super, super strong. Won a tournament. Great all around. But yeah, that first battle. So glad I got that one on recording for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We did make a few mistakes. Obviously, we didn't know what the dog really did. We uh, let our uh, Deli Bird die out early to expand Force 2. But other than that, I feel like we thrived out really well that match. Like I said, we started off weak, but we dug right back.
play great in the end and ended up grabbing ourselves that win. But we're going up against a snow team here with Iron Bundle, the Deli Bird, Iron Hands, Glaceon, Snow Cloak Glaceon, alongside with Snow Warning, Obama Snow, Slush Rush, Sea Titan. And then it's got Slow King. With Slow King, I think it's really there just to pop Trick Room, right? Makes the most sense. But who should I go into here? What is the play? Deli Bird, I feel like, has to be lead. I could also go Bax Caliber. I do not mind Bax Caliber. But do I lead Bax Caliber? I might lead a Pokemon more so like you. Just in case the fake out's gonna come out of here. It's gonna be bad. I think Fluttermane's gonna be my play. So I'm gonna go Fluttermane. I am gonna bring Iron Hands in the back end. I really do like Iron Hands. And then last but not least, I feel like I have to bring. I feel like I have to bring Arcanine, right? It's either Arcanine or the Gargoyle again. Gargoyle's not bad, but the problem here is a few special attackers can just rip into it. Actually, a lot of Pokemon can rip into that. It's just saying, Iron Bundle can hit it hard. Iron Hands can hit it hard with fighting moves. Grass moves from Abomaso could hit it hard. Sea Titan, a lot of them are water terror type. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go Arky here. We're gonna go Arcanine and lock it in. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. But the snow is definitely scaring me. But Iron Bundle will get a boost. Same thing with Backscalber, but I did not bring the Backscalber. They get a 10% defensive boost, I think. Straight defense. But I do have special attackers out on the field. So it's gonna be good for us. Let's see who her opponent ends up leading. It's gonna be a Bomb of Snow, Sea Titan. Bomb of Snow and Bundle. A Bomb of Snow and Bundle. And at this point. At this point, I really, really, really want to double down to Bundle. And knock off Focus Ash. I got my speed heightened. Is he Rock and Cork Drive too? He is. And what are you heightening? Your speed. Now, am I faster because my Bundle went fa first? Because that'd be huge because then I would just take off Sashes. And then double straight down into this thing, right? I could Fairy Terror here as well. If I want to, but Iron Bundle's defense and special defense isn't that high, so I feel like we're fine with just doing this. So, yeah, we do outspeed, which is awesome. We're gonna take off Sashes if they're there, and maybe we should have Terran. But we do get the speed drop, which is huge. Flutter main should go next, and we're hoping we can just KO this bundle here. You outspeed me? That's wild. Do not freeze me. You get a crit on my bundle. That's embarrassing. Moonblast does fly. It's KO. It does KO. It's so beautiful. We did not need to waste the terrestrialization. That works out pretty good for us. And I think another Blizzard just coming here, right? A War Veil. Okay. Really good play from him. So War Veil is going to fly. War Veil is one of the best. It is legit a Reflect and Light Screen all in one. But we're going to play around it. We're hoping this thing's not likely because that could be a problem. But Sea Titan's probably going to come out here, right? Yeah. So Sea Titan flies out here. And from here, I could freeze dry. Hmm. Look, Sea Titan's gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem. We still have Iron Hands in the back end, which I really, really like. But what do we think Sea Titan's gonna do? Sea Titan's gonna outspeed. I feel like Sea Titan has to go after Fluttermane, right? I feel like Sea Titan has to go after Fluttermane. So, you know what? I'm going to slow down Sea Titan this turn with an Icy Wind and hope that it goes after the Fluttermane. And then we go from there. So, I'm going to protect the Flutz. It just poses such a big threat, so a lot of people like to attack it. And Iron Bundle still outspeeds. Wow, we could have just used it to our advantage there. So, Iron Bundle still outspeeds, but still, that this allows Fluttermane to outspeed. Let's see. Ice Spinner does go into the Fluttermane slot. Great protect spiles. So yeah, we've been protecting Fluttermane really well in today's video so far. And Energy Ball is going to fly. So that's going to KO us, right? Yeah. That drops my Iron Bundle, and we'll go from there. So we have speed on the field. And from here, I feel like we have to bring out Arcanine, right? I feel like we have to bring out Arcanine. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to bring out Arcanine here. I'm going to get off and intimidate onto that Sea Titan. And I think I want to get off a of burn here, too. Right, will o -Wisp that? And then rip into you with a Moonblast. Moonblast is going to do the most damage, so yeah. I'm going to rip into this thing with a Moonblast, even though it might protect. Maybe I should double down to Sea Titan here. Say, so, withdraw is Obama Snow. That's fine. Who are you going to go into? Who are you going into, kind sir? Iron Hands. I love that. I love that, yo. Moonblast coming in hot onto it. Big time damage on Iron Hands. That's huge. Ice Spinner's gonna fly. Can you eat this? Probably not, right? No, you cannot. So we're not able to eat that. Arcanine, can you land this Willowis? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. This could be a big time burn. Love you. So that's a big time burn. 
Big time burn comes out onto Sea Titan, onto the physical attacker. And I'm going to try to get one on the Iron Hands as well. Definitely want to try to get up one off on the Iron Hands. But we got off some big time damage on the Iron Hands. Hopefully it's not leftovers. It's not. And we have our own Iron Hands ready to roll. Ready to roll is Iron Hands. So I'm going to bring him out here. I might use the trash size on this poke, right? Makes the most sense, correct? The terrestrialize this thing into grass. Because a lot of the Sea Titans tear it in the ground. And what I want to do here is just go straight into another will o -Wisp and burn that Pokemon. And then, uh, who do we fake out? Do we just go for a fake out on his hands? Right? Or do we just fake out the Sea Titan? I still want to just straight up Terrasalize here. Actually, not really. I really don't want Terrasalize right now. Who do I fake out here? I'm going to go for the fake out on him. Hopefully, ours outspeeds. He ends up withdrawing Sea Titan. Goes back into a Bomb of Snow. That's play. I don't want to Terra in the grass just yet. Because my problem with Terrasalizing in the grass is going to be... Is going to be this the, the Ice Pokemon hit me hard. will o lands on him. That's huge. That's big time lands. Big time lands, Arcanine. Coming in clutch with the burns. So we got two burns down on the field. And they're both on physical attackers. This thing's Lumberied? No shot! It's Lumberied. No shot, it's Lumberry. We're gonna go for another will o -Wisp, which is big. And I feel like we just drain punch this thing down. Gotta be my play. We're going for another will o -Wisp. It withdraws. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna go back into Sea Titan. I don't get what the swap was about. I guess just to get rid of the, the minus one onto Sea Titan. will o -Wisp lands. Let's go. We'll land him all day. We'll land him all day. Big time will o -Wisp coming out from Arcanine. He's going crazy right now. He's going crazy. So we get the burns off. Drain punch is gonna fly here. Absolutely dump on this thing through a roar bell, right? A roar bell sub. Oh, we get a crit. I apologize. I apologize. But still, we're playing this one really, really well. Really, really well right now. Close combat's gonna come in here. You're burned. Look at that. Look at that soak. Now your defense is down. That's huge. That's big time, boys. That's huge. Huge. Snow stops. And burns chipping. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Arcanine killing it. A roar bell's gone. Loving it. Loving it. Let's go. Let's go. So, Abomasaur comes back out here. Obviously, I can just drain punch it. They do still have terrestrialization, and so do we. So do we. But I feel like Arcanine outspeeds. Does Arcanine outspeed Abomasaur now? Should. 154. Yeah, you 100% outspeed. So, I feel like a Flare Blitz. I feel like if you're going to terrestrialize, it's either into ice or grass, right? And then I feel like I have to terrestrialize you as well. Do I even terrestrialize? I mean, grass could be... What, what would grass benefit us? I think grass benefits as well. I'm going to take out the iron hands here. I'm going to terrestrialize into grass. And the reason I want to terrestrialize into grass would be because if he goes into... I guess a grass move into me. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have touched terrestrialization because typing is not bad for us. Typing is not bad for us. But well, Arcanine should outspeed. But here comes Terrasalization. Show me it's going into Iron Hands, please, and thank you. Let's see. Let's, it is going into Iron Hands. Okay, cool. That just makes makes life 10 times better for me. Makes life 10 times better for me. Because now I get rid of this Abomasaur, no problem, unless it protects. Then we just get after you, right? Yeah, Flare Blitz. Later, Abomasaur. And this match is... It's wraps. It's wraps. Iron Hands burn. It's not doing anything. But yo, with a wisp coming up clutch. Thank God I bought the Arcanine. I'm a big Arcanine person. I think it's phenomenal for dropping the special attack stat and physical attack stat with Willow Wisp and Intimidate. I just feel like it, it's it's top tier Pokemon. It's so good. It's so good all around with its moveset. But Drain Punch is going to fly here. Pick up the KO. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 0 for today's video. And we are now in Master Team. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Give it to me. Give it to me. Master tier in six matches. Ranked 3001 right now. Absolutely killing it on the rank ladder. We are, what are we? Five and one? Insane. This is the quickest I ever hit master tier. Six matches. Six. We could have got in four or five if we didn't lose one of the matches, but we are just tearing it up on the rank ladder so far. But we're five and one. Hopefully we can get ourselves a perfect record for today's video and go six and one and end up undefeated on the master but we're going up against somebody who's ranked 6200 and something did not get the rest and they have a flutter main and iron hands trick room team with for oh my trick this is insane with for rigor ramp bronzong and mouse so trick room is 
We, we can't stop Trick Room. Trick Room just seems like it's going to overpower us here. But who can I go into and how can I just start ripping into these guys? Hmm. Could go into my boy right here, Bax Caliber. With loaded dice could be pretty solid. I have the Water Tower to deal with a few of these Pokemon. I like a lot of them. And you know what? I am going to go into you. And I might even go in with Iron Bundle. But they're obviously setting up Trick Room. There's no doubt in my mind that Trick Room comes out here. So I might go into you to fake out. But if Frigraph comes out here, then we're just like, eh, what are we going to do about it? Hate this game. I don't like it. I just don't like this game. Trick Room teams are so hard to go up against. Do we go into Iron Hands? Might as well, because if they pop Trick Room, I get a little bit of speed action onto it. I'm with it. And I have a Soul Best too. So, you know, we're going to go into them too. I am going to go back Caliber Or not back Caliber. Uh, Do I go Gargle here? It's tough. This is tough. It's tough. I think we do go Gargle. Because if we have Terror, that could be a really good Terror for us. So, you know, I'm going to do that. And then last but not least, I'm going to go in with the Sash Fluttermane. Fluttermane has been really good for us in today's video, so I'm going to rip with it. I am going to rip with the Fluttermane. Fluttermane has been incredible for us. Same thing with Ark and I. I feel like they've been the best for, for both of us. Iron Bundle hasn't really gotten a chance to showcase, but trust me, guys. Iron Bundle is where it's at. I mean, it did do good with Speed Control with Icy Winds. I really did like that part of it. But we don't need Speed Control right now. We need damage. So these two are going to come out here. We cannot fake out. We already know that. And I'm going to bring out Bax Caliber here. The Bax is going to come out here, and I feel like our play should just be a Terrasalization into, like, an Icicle Spirit just to get rid of the Flutter main. And if you want to set up Trick Room, I mean, I guess you could set up Trick Room. It's no big deal for us. And I just Dream Punch to get back some HP if we do lose him. So what are you going to do? Moon Blast into me? Potentially, yeah. And I know Iron Bundle can, or Iron Hands can eat that up. So I'm just going to use my Terrasalization right off the rip, just in case a Moon Blast wants to come after my Bax Caliber. We can soak it up. We can drop a nice little Icicle Spears and get rid of Flutter Main, right? Especially because we're low dice, it's guaranteed to hit four plus times. Big time plays. Big time plays. The Gleam does come out here. That's fine by me. Like I said, Iron Hands can eat that up. And the thing is orbed. Are you popping a Trick Room? You are definitely popping a Trick Room. So Icicle Spears can come in here. We're going to get rid of Flutter Main turn one, which is pretty big for us. And then Drain Punch is going to also fly onto the Frig Ramp, chipping up some damage, and more importantly, getting back some HP. This thing has got to be popping Trick Room. Unless you're going for a Psychic. But uh, it's got to be Trick Room, right? It's got to be Trick Room. 100%. 100% got to be Trick Room. So we end up getting back some HP. And no, you're going for a Gleam. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm really cool with that. You're going into a Gleam? No Trick Room there? Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. That's huge. You going into Bronzong? I don't mind. I do not mind. I do not mind because now I just want to finish off you, which Icicle Spears should be able to. Then I could just Dream Punch, get some more HP back. That's my play all day. Get rid of this Frig Raff. Frig Raff, get on out my game. Don't don't want you. Yo, Baxi getting some work done. Got Baxi hit for that fourth time. Loaded dice, Baxi's where it's at. So if I had to guess, the Trick Room is now coming out here, but it's a little late. It's definitely a little late. And then he is going to probably bring out Torkoal and Terrasalize and go from there. Right? And I don't really mind sitting at that position because I do have Fluttermane with Sash and Protosynthesis could pop. Uh, I do have Gargi in the back end as well. I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but I am terrified of it. It's, it's got to be Torkoal, right? Hopefully it's not Torkoal, but... Oh, it's Iron Hands. I, I don't I don't mind that. I'm just gonna protect you and I'm gonna go into I could swap. I could swap. But I feel like just staying in with this Pokemon. And getting after Bronzong? Do we get after Bronzong? Yeah, we're going to do a bit more damage on the Bronzong. Protect coming out from Baxcalibur, because that is where I think the fake out is coming into. And hopefully make that read. And go for a Bulldoze. Are you policy popping? I think policy popping? That's got to be policy, right? That's that's scary. That is scary. Hopefully he's going after my Baxcalibur. I mean, it's water type, right? I feel like you have to be. I feel like you have to be. Weakness policy gets popped. Again, we have Sash. I want to just get after this. Bronze on because I can 1v1 this thing all day. 
I can even 1v1 this. And he... Oh, he hits me hard with Dream Punch. Okay, um... Where do we go from here? They bring out Gargi. I mean, Gargi's not gonna do too much. What can you do? You can't You can't really do anything. Buttermane has to come out here. Wow, this one, we might lose this one. This is not looking good for us. Because do they still have Terra? I don't think they use Terra. I don't know what to do here. I think I'm gonna just start to waste out the Trick Room turns, right? I think I have to waste out the Trick Room turns. I think it's a must. And I guess we'll go for a Glaive Rush to try to get off as much damage as we can. I guess we'll just protect you, right? Iron Hands might, might complete the comeback onto us. We were looking pretty good here. This is scary. This is scary, dude. Iron Hands is where it's at. The Pokemon's so good. Wow, I could really use Arcanine right now, right? <laughs> Arcanine could be a beast. Come in here, drop a nice little Willow Whistle on that thing. Go from there. But we are going to see. Wow, this guy's just reading my protects hard. Reading them hard. And I have Fluttermane. I guess I have to protect Fluttermane, right? I have to protect Fluttermane. Correct? Body press coming in here. Oh. Jeez, man. <laughs> How many turns is left in Trick Room? I have Sash, which is good. I could protect this turn and use up Sash. Um, What do I do here? How many turns is left in Trick Room? Two. I think I just had to rip into this thing. Or do I get rid of you? I'm going to try to get rid of Bronze on here. And... Mm, do I just recover? I think we just have to recover HP after he hits us. I'm terrified. I don't know what's going on. I think we lose this one. This is tough. So he's going to Terrasize here. We are going for Shadow Ball into that. Into the Bronze Onslaught. Trying to take that out. And then working from there. So we'll see. The Drain Punch does come in here. Can you eat? You get one shot it. Wow. 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 And Gyro Ball comes out here. Takes off my Sash. Brings me down to one. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So Shadow Ball is flying here. Probably KOing, right? Yeah, you hit way too hard, Flutterbean. And we bring it to a 1v1. And we're gonna lose this one. No shot. No shot. I'm trying to think of like ways that we could have won this battle. But with the team that we had, I would have had to brought somebody else to help us out here. Like, let me see. If I would have brought Arcanine, Deli Bird wouldn't have done much. Arcanine probably would have been better than Gargle Knack. Gargle Knack would have done nothing. Couldn't have done anything. Yeah, we need an Arcanine here. But yeah, from here, you know, I just gotta have to protect here. And waste out the last turn trick room. And maybe hope to get like a crit, have them miss, and rely on RG to win this match, but still solid third and final battle. We got ourselves in the match which is huge. And we'll be six and two if we lose this battle, but we have a shot here. So I would want to go for a shadow ball. To try to get a special defense drop. And hopefully he misses somehow. Like probably can't miss, right? And this thing just soaks. Absolute bulk. We do get the special defense drop. And Thunder Punch comes in here. Connecting anyway. That's going to be GG's. We are 2-1 for today's video. Wow. We were sitting so good. We were up 2, but popped out the Trick Room. Popped out the Bulldoze with the Weakness Policy. Incredible play. End up going 2-1 for today's video. And at least we got into Master Tier. So, guys, that loss right there dropped us about 1,000 rank. We are sitting at 4,186 and 5-2 and on the season. Had a great time recording with this team. One of the stronger teams I have used for Series 2 so far. This team's absolutely amazing. Really good for pushing match here. And if you guys want to learn a team, I feel like this is the team to learn. Learn this team. Know it inside and out, and I'm pretty sure you guys can push Master Tier, no problem, just like we did with this team today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.